Fora is a rapper with hundreds of millions of streams on Spotify, millions of fans, and a gold single. He's worked with artists like Kaylani, Black, Trippie Red, Ty Dolla Sign, Tyler Yahweh, and many more. But he's also used his popularity to allegedly scam his fans. Fora has been scamming his fans through his clothing brand Yours Truly Clothing since 2018 and has also scammed through other methods. And after adding up everything I've found, he's scammed his fans for at least $71,543. So let's see how he did it. I just want to throw in that everything in this video is alleged. However, by by the time you finish the video, I'd be surprised if you don't come away with the same conclusion. Also, this story was brought to me by some former fans of Fora, who after calling him out were harassed by his fans and even Fora himself. And for valid reason, they speculate that Fora may have sent the fans after them. However, that's too much to get into right now, so let's just hop into the scamming. So Fora began making music in 2010, and the following year, he created his record label Yours Truly when he was just 17 years old. He began consistently putting out music and improving his sound, and then launched his infamous clothing brand Yours Truly Clothing clothing in 2012. He was also just running the clothing brand out of his garage at the time. His plan was to put out as much music as possible, and it worked, so he quickly began garnering a fan base. Fora's music was pretty good and very emotional, which helped him create an even stronger relationship with his more vulnerable fans, whom he'd eventually take advantage of. From 2010 to 2015, he was doing the average indie artist thing, just releasing music, playing shows, and trying to make it in the industry. However, 2015 is when one of his first scams would start. Fora released the video, Fora, Yours Truly Forever, a new legacy official documentary. It was an extremely emotional documentary that went over his life story and his career. He told a sad story about how one time he got jumped when he was younger and was really emphasizing how tough his life was. The whole purpose of this emotional documentary was to incentivize his fans to raise $60,000 for him via Kickstarter so he could create his own record label, Yours Truly Records. All I knew was struggle. All I knew was hardships. All I knew was pain. But I would never wish this upon anyone. My dad was around, but he wasn't really around. He was there, but he wasn't there. And I'm not denying that his life was rough. I'm sure it was. But using it as a selling point to get your fans to give you $60,000 doesn't look so good. On his Kickstarter, he said that he would create the record label and use the money for music, videos, tours, and his clothing. We have no big record labels backing us. We have no distribution putting our music out. We have no investors. It's just us releasing our own music, doing it ourselves. And that's how it's always been, and that's how we plan on keeping it. Yeah, that didn't age well, but I'll touch more on that in a minute. Anyways, he continued on talking about how he wanted the fans to be the record label, and he was essentially seeking an investment from his fans. He was saying how he doesn't want record labels changing his sound or telling him what to do, and then Fora proceeded to create this mini sob story about how he mentioned this Kickstarter idea to some people and they shot it down and said he couldn't do it, and they were basically just telling him to sign to a label. Now, since they started doubting us and they said we couldn't do it, that was only more fuel to our fire. But the plan wasn't just to give him money with nothing in return. He actually had different packages for different people who pledged various amounts of money with various rewards. You could get things like a magazine, early access to his album, a DM from Fora himself, bonus tracks, a t-shirt, a hoodie, a hat, signed merchandise, and many more things. And honestly, it's a really cool idea for independent artists because the fans are supporting their favorite artist and in turn, they're getting something cool that they'll appreciate. After explaining everything about the Kickstarter, he expressed his love for his true and die-hard fans. So the objective is to reach the goal, but we might not reach it. But just knowing, and just going to sleep at night, knowing that I tried my hardest, and knowing the true and the die-hard fans did all they could to make this possible, is what really matters to me. And I don't know about you, but personally, if that were me, I'd be down to support my favorite artist and maybe get a package and get something cool in return. But unfortunately, it seems like many people never got their rewards. If you look at the comments at first, everyone's excited and motivated that they can help Fora. But as time goes by, people start realizing that they aren't getting their rewards. Has anyone received rewards from the $20 pledge? Nope, no one's received anything. No rewards, no updates, just $65,000 gone of backers' money. People began to doubt Fora. Download links weren't working and people weren't getting their stuff. Some people did get their stuff, some people got it but it was broken, and a lot of people just never got anything. Someone said they even spent $2,750 and didn't get anything over a year after donating. I even saw comments over 5 years after the Kickstarter of people still trying to figure out what happened. There were no updates on the Kickstarter campaign and very little communication from Fora. However, by the time the campaign was over, he had 635 backers that raised $65,340. 
$48, exceeding the $60,000 goal. He also said that if they didn't reach the goal, the project would be canceled and everyone would be refunded, but I highly doubt that. And if that wasn't bad enough, two years after creating this Kickstarter so he could be his own label, he signed to Warner Bros. Records. So this guy raised $65,000 to create his own label and then signed two years later. One fan even commented on the documentary, what happened to this? I'm not trying to hate, but homie signed a record deal. What they do with that 65k. And I guess I get the fact that $65,000 won't last too long in the music industry as an independent artist, but I'd for sure consider this a scam, especially since so many people never got their stuff. And if you're being smart with your $65,000, you would have invested it into your own music, put more music out, you would have profited from your tours. It's more of an investment. It's not like you're just getting the money and then burning it. Like you should be investing it in your business and growing. And if he's independent with the crazy streams he gets, he should be making a lot more money. However, that is not the bulk of the scamming, and it's actually just the tip of the iceberg. The main point of this video is to cover his clothing brand, Yours Truly. So Yours Truly Clothing is Forrest's clothing brand, and as I mentioned earlier, it was started in 2012. Like you saw earlier, he was running it with his friends out of his garage as a small artist. But as he grew as an artist, his brand also began to grow. By 2017, he was written up in a Forbes article for bringing in over $2.2 in revenue during their 24-hour Black Friday sale, moving over 30,000 orders at $76 per and padding the company's monthly revenue stream of $100,000 to $150,000. His company grew huge. He even opened a brick and mortar store on Fairfax in 2019. But unfortunately, the scamming never stopped even as the company grew. If you look at any review site, you will see an abundance of negative reviews, with many people saying that they never got their stuff. The negative reviews like these began in 2018, with people saying how they ordered, got no updates about delivery, and never received their items. I've seen a handful of negative reviews with people saying their clothes arrived but the quality was very poor. For example, this review from 2018 says, I absolutely love Fora, yours truly, etc and the clothing is dope. But the whole online store, customer service, consistency of clothing is absolutely horrible. Not only is it random how long your orders take, but if you have a problem, questions, they won't answer you. I've spent a lot of money and referred people and we've all had negative experiences. The writer then went on to say that they bought a hoodie that was too big, so they ordered one one size down and the hoodies that were printed on were completely different. Same design, just a different hoodie. So clearly the quality of the clothing and the customer service is not great, but it had to have improved over time, right? It's especially as the company grew worth millions and millions of dollars. At least that's what you think. Yours Truly Clothing never cleaned up their act and has had continuous issues. Some people who left negative reviews provided photos of email experiences with automated and generic responses going nowhere, and the most help they provide is offering store credit or offering to actually ship the item. They usually never offer to give refunds. And this is a common thing they do with all their customers as I've seen in the reviews, they never offer refunds. And these reviews span from at least 2018 to 2022. Like this one from from 2020 that reads, this was going to be my goddaughter's Christmas gift because she's a big fan and I have a feeling it's not going to make it here in time or maybe at all. I've been trying to get a hold of these guys and no answer. They obviously don't care. I mean, I don't care if they get in touch with me. They'd probably just give me fake smiles, but my goddaughter could have had a real one. It's quite the sad story. And it isn't just one review site. Every single review website I see has similar stories all over them. Scammers, do not order, garbage, terrible, do not recommend, I wish I could do zero stars. There are hundreds of these reviews with similar stories across Facebook, Scam Pulse, and every other review site you can think of. And of course, some people got their stuff and it was fine, probably even the majority. But when hundreds of people are having these issues with no communication, it's clear that Fora does not mind taking people's money. After adding up a bunch of the reviews, not all of them because there were so many and I eventually got bored, and including the Kickstarter, Fora fans have had at least $71,543 taken from them with nothing in return. In fact, because of how many people have complained, the Better Business Bureau has opened up an investigation. Yours truly even has a BBB rating of F. And maybe you're thinking to yourself right now that for some reason these reviews aren't credible enough. So I reached out to a few people and got further proof in the DMs. Here's one person saying they spent $100 and never got anything. Here's someone who ordered March of 2022 and never got anything. Here's someone who spent $200 and never got anything. Here's someone who ordered $120 worth of stuff never got it, got a bank refund, tried again a year or so later, spent $180, and never got anything. Here's some emails from someone who ordered in March of 2022, moved, 
The order shipped in November, tried getting it worked out with yours truly who responded with some generic emails in December, and to this day they have not solved the issue. Yours truly has also done giveaways that people have actually won, but they haven't received anything from them, like this person right here. Also a little side note, Fora did a Jeep giveaway, but as I'm sure you can guess, no one got the Jeep. Also a side side note, I saw a bunch of people in his comments talking about how their tickets weren't refunded after shows were cancelled, and with his track record I would not be surprised if these comments were also true. So anyways, their latest drop in 2022 was a big mess, and I'm not sure if anyone even got their orders, which led Fora to finally address the situation. Recently, Fora has commented on this situation both in an interview and on the clothing company's official Instagram. In November of 2022, Fora announced on the Yours Truly Instagram that he was letting go of the entire team and restarting. He said the team had considered shutting down Yours Truly, but he instead asked for support while he rebuilds. He said he's working on fulfilling the orders, but nothing has come of that yet. On top of that, a former employee employee said that the whole team quit rather than being fired, and that Fora wasn't taking accountability. Maybe they quit because they were paid in clothing? This is just a DM from an anonymous source, but I wouldn't be surprised if his team wasn't very well taken care of because of how poorly the customers were treated. Anyways, the website has since been shut down, and the Yours Truly Instagram has been wiped except for the announcement post, and he also cleared his personal Instagram. Now I don't know if he's doing that because he wants to promote some new music, or if it's because there were so many people in his comments calling him a scammer. Before he shut his Instagram down, you could see a bunch of these comments, but you can still see a bunch of these comments on the Yours Truly Instagram Reels that they forgot to take down. Here's Fora's response after being asked about the situation in an interview. It's not hate. No, it's 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 valid. It's um, those are um just like uh business decisions that uh, I take responsibility for. And Fora's not an idiot either. He said that he understands that he's the face of the brand and that the responsibility falls on him. However, when this is an issue that's persisted for seven years, you gotta wonder how much he really cares. And on top of that, when he says he's taking responsibility, he doesn't fail to cast the blame on the others working with him while doing that. At the end of the day, I'm the public and I'm the guy, you know? Yeah. No one knows any anybody else on the, yeah. I'm, off the street I'm the guy, so yeah. some fucked up shit happens. It's all on you. It falls on me. And what am I gonna do? Fucking blame people, point the finger for like, yeah. then I'm just gonna look like I'm running away from fucking taking responsibility. I made yeah. the choice to do business with these people. I made a choice to do business with so blah 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 basically what he's saying in this clip is it's these people's fault but i'm the face of the brand so i take responsibility but it's still their fault like i said if this is an issue that you've had with your clothing brand for years and you had the same issue with your kickstarter there might be a common denominator in the previous interview i just showed on december 20th of 2022 he mentioned fixing it soon with no word since so i guess we'll see where that goes as of now the website is down so fans seem to be in the dark so anyways you're probably wondering if this is such a big scam why do people keep buying well like i said he has a very strong fan base, and because of that, they trust him. Personally, every time I've bought merch from an artist I like, I've never thought to check the reviews first, so I think that's why it's so easy for him to scam his fans. So if Forrest sees this video and wants to talk about it and maybe clear things up, I'd be more than willing to, but on an outside perspective, this just looks like straight up scamming. I reached out to him on Instagram for a comment, but obviously he never responded. So if there's any lesson to be learned from this video, if you're ordering merch from your favorite artist, maybe check the reviews first. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. This has been Matt balls i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time but what i fear is karma though because it always comes back you know also if you made it this far you're a real one so i just want to say thank you guys for 100k I just got my plaque in the mail very hyped about this very excited thank you guys peace out